Hey guys, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl, and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. going to be really chill we're just gonna play in a little bit of makeup and catch up so if you would like to do a little chit chat get ready with me please keep watching I know it's been a while since I posted my last video but your girl has been under the weather and I don't know about you but when I'm not feeling well it does take me quite a bit of time to get back to myself and all of my normal activities so that's what I have been doing just taking a little bit of time to relax and rejuvenate and get back to being my normal self um I had my little visitor you all know what I'm talking about and let me just tell you her days are numbered okay like this relationship is about to be over really really soon and your girl is not sorry about it at all I am forward to the end of August to terminate this relationship seriously she has been a thorn in my side for these last few years and I'm just over it like I have done everything that I could do to try to make this work I have been patient with her and she has just been angry for no reason whatsoever so yeah we're going to terminate this relationship in august and i'm happy about it so aside from all of that female drama we're going to play in some makeup today um uh, because i do want to film a video for you guys i want to do a styling video so i don't know if you see like i have clothes hanging up behind me and then i have like some purses right there so we're going to do a styling video um later on today so i needed to like touch up my face a little bit because you know your friend came and then she left some visitors or whatever so we want to cover those up a little bit and as you can see i have my hair in some braids my sister-in-law came over and took really good care of me because like my hair was crazy it was a mess and i just didn't have the energy or the time or the desire to deal with it so she gave me these braids and i am so grateful to her so thank you sis for hooking me up because your girl needed it so i'm going to keep these in for a little while um probably a few weeks you don't know this about me when i get braids like i wear them to the end i don't care like i, I really don't care i wear them to the absolute end and that's what i plan on doing with these braids is just wearing them for a while so i can just not have to worry about doing my hair because it's just too hot it's too hot to just have all that hair on my head and to be fooling with it so we're gonna wear these braids for a little while and then i think i'm gonna go to the salon and get um some other braids and wear those for a while so i don't know we'll see how this goes but you'll probably be seeing these braids in a couple of more videos or I just throw a wig on top of it. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of makeup. I don't need to do any primer because I'm not going anywhere. But I think I'm going to do this Makeup Forever foundation. So let's shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. I have my brushes. I washed them, guys, again in the washing machine. And they came out really clean. So happy about that. Not many of them were dirty because I wasn't using them that much because I was sick and I wasn't going anywhere. So not many of them were dirty, but I did want to wash them. So yeah, so we're going to put on this foundation and catch up and, you know, see what you guys have been up to while I have been out and chilling and trying to get back to myself. What have you been up to? As for me, I haven't really been up to much, you know, just relaxing, just, you know, getting things in order at work. I have to take medical leave from work in August when I have my surgery. So, so I was talking to my manager and giving her a heads up and letting her know the time frame that I expect to be out 
And then I was reaching out to HR to see what paperwork I needed to have completed and sent over to my doctor for them to um, fill out so that there are no issues when it comes time for the surgery. And I keep saying surgery, if you haven't picked up on it by now, um, I'm going to have a hysterectomy in August because I have been having complications with my cycle and I also have fibroids. So that has been causing a lot of complications with my cycle, making it um, very irregular, very painful and a very heavy and I just can't deal with it like I've been dealing with it for the last what four or five years and I just can't deal with it any any longer I tried um the Mirena they said that that would help with like the heavy bleeding and that was just the worst for me that was a year of pure hell for me and then after that I was like I don't want to try any other alternatives like I I want this to be over, like completely over. So that is why I opted to just go straight into the hysterectomy because I just can't, I just can't deal with it. Like really been very tough for me. It has been life altering for me. I have never been the person who had issues with her cycle growing up. Like it would come three days, it would be gone. Like I had never had issues. Like I would break out. Obviously I do have hormonal acne and I, I'm like my face was just terrible throughout high school because of that but as far as like pain I never experienced that I never had that when I had even after having my son I still never had any issues with my cycle it was just literally once I turned 40 everything changed like it just took on a whole new identity for me and I just can't deal with it like there were days I couldn't even get out of the bed I couldn't go to work because I was just in so much pain and I've never had to deal with that before so it has definitely been life altering and even when you know it's over it still takes me at least two or three days to like get back to normal get my you know get back to normal get my energy back and want to be around people and do stuff so that's just too much I can't deal with that I know that I do not want any more kids so it's just like why are we still doing this why are we still doing this so, so I spoke with my doctor we did all of the necessary tests and procedures that I needed to have done and he was in agreement with me having this procedure done so that's what we're going to do at the end of August and I am honestly looking forward to it so that is the biggest thing that i have coming up so i don't know what that's going to mean for my schedule for youtube because i'm expected to be out for um six to so i'm expected to be out i think he said from four to six weeks so i know it's going to take some time for me to recover and get back to myself but i hope that i can do like some batch recording and schedule some videos for you to watch you know while i'm recovering and i don't know we'll see how all of that goes but that is the biggest thing that i have coming up for now um oh another thing i wanted to talk about is i am approaching my six months of being on youtube and i'm pretty excited about where i am right now i'm um, not by any stretch of the imagination am i some milestones that others may have reached at six months but i'm pretty excited about you know where i am and what the channel is doing i honestly wasn't expecting any of this so like i said i am approaching my six months i think i started I think I started at the beginning of the year. So sometime in January posting videos and I was kind of at the beginning just posting when I felt like it. So I would like film, edit and post all in the same day. And that's a lot. That is a lot of work to do. So I was finding myself like, oh, this is too much. Like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this anymore. So I started, you know, slowing down and not posting as much i'll probably post like one video a month or maybe i'll have three videos a month like i had there was no consistency and then i saw that my subscribers weren't growing because i just wasn't consistent just posting whenever out of the blue so i sat down and i was like cheryl you need to come up with a schedule that you can stick with 
and post on a regular basis and you need to like have your filming days and your editing days so that you're not doing everything all at once so once i figured that out and i was like okay we're gonna post three videos a week and those days are going to be tuesday thursday and sunday so once i figured that out and had that schedule so i know like when i needed to film or when i need to edit and I have my days that I needed to post. That was a game changer. I really needed that schedule. I have been able to keep up with it quite regularly, except for I think this week and another week, maybe a couple of weeks ago, because I just I, I have been sick. And I was telling you how when I'm sick, I just need time to recuperate. But for the most part, I think I have been doing very well with keeping with that schedule. And with the three videos, I had the one video that I knew I was gonna shoot every week, and then that was my What I Wore this week video so, so every day i would just shoot what i'm wearing and then at the end of the week i would compile it all together and then that would be my video i haven't done that in a while because again i have been sick but i definitely want to get back to doing that and I like doing those videos because that forces me to get dressed each day because I do work from home three days a week. And those days I pretty much want to stay in my pajamas, but I was like, no, you need to get up and get dressed every day. So having to do that weekly video helps me to get up and to get dressed every day. And just wear the things that I have in my closet because when else am I going to wear them? So I've kind of stepped away from doing that, but I do want to get back to doing those videos because those help me a whole lot with just making sure that I get up and you know I'm presenting my best self each and every day not just on Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I have to go into the office so I do like doing those videos and I will be bringing those back to the channel trust me um so that was one thing that I found that I needed to just find a schedule and be consistent with my posting that really helped to boost my channel a whole lot it brought more views to the channel and I was able to pick up a lot more subscribers and then um so I'm currently at 335 subscribers and I'm really trying to reach obviously I'm really trying to reach a thousand subscribers but the first milestone is 500 so I'm really, really trying my hardest to reach that 500 subscribers. So if you are watching and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Support your girl, please. So that is one milestone for me. And, and for watch hours, I need to get 3,000 watch hours. And I'm currently at 1,256 watch hours. Watch hours thing is really weird to me. I don't know how they calculate that. Because cause I feel like I have pretty good views on my videos, you know, being new at this. So I'm not really sure sure how they calculate these watch hours but that is where I'm currently at and I mean that's almost half of what I need that's almost half of the 3,000 so we're just gonna have to keep pushing out these videos and you know hoping you guys will watch them and will engage so that's another thing um, the comments I have been getting some really really good comments from my subscribers engaging with me. I absolutely love reading the comments. I love replying back to you guys. So that has been great, just having the people to reach out to me. Um, just, you know, the number of people that reach out to me. They leave a video request. They leave comments about how they love my videos and how they love my content and how it's helpful to them. You know, some of the information that I be posting is helpful to them and I love hearing that like I want you to be able to learn something from this channel I don't just want to be on here talking you know out of my head like I hope you're able to take away something from my videos so I love hearing that and I've also had a couple of people to let me know that they were international so loving the fact that I'm receiving the international support so I I don't know I just this really really makes me excited and it motivates me to keep shooting the content so I appreciate that so so much and then another thing that I am so grateful for um that I was able to accomplish on my channel are collaborations like I've been doing this for six months sometime this week or this month will be my sixth month and I've already had 
three collaborations. They aren't paid collaborations, obviously, but gifted me the products for me to use and to review on my channel. And I've even received discount codes that I can share with my subscribers or my viewers so that they can also get, you know, a little discount if they use the discount code. So I think that is huge. Like, I think that is a huge accomplishment. So the first one was some makeup by the brand Jay's Beauty Bar. So I did purchase some items from her website, but she also gifted me with some items to review on the channel. So that I consider as a collaboration because she didn't have to gift those products to me, but she did. So I really appreciated that. That was my first one. And then my second one was a handbag. It was a company that sells a very high quality replica handbags, but I'm not a person who is above that. Like, I'm not above buying a replica, especially if it's something that I know I'm not going to spend tens of thousands of dollars for to buy the real thing. Like, I'm not going to spend over a certain amount of money on a designer handbag. Like, I'm just not going to do that. They reached out to me and offered me this opportunity, and I kind of researched them a little bit and watched some other videos just so that I could make sure the quality was up to par. I was like, yes. I absolutely will do it. So they sent me the Hermes Birkin handbag, beautiful handbag. I absolutely love it. I did a video unboxing that and they sent me a second Hermes Birkin bag in a different size. So I did a video comparing the two and I'm actually giving away one of those handbags. So if you have not already entered that giveaway, make sure you go back and watch that video. Subscribe to the channel, comment giveaway down in the comment section so that I'll know that you are entering. And that giveaway is going to close I think on July 14th or something like that so go back and watch that video it has all of the details on there so I don't know I just thought that was a really really huge opportunity for me and I just appreciate it so much and I love the bag I think the bag is gorgeous and I'm pretty sure whomever wins the handbag they're going to love it as well so I thought that was a great opportunity and then I also had another company to reach out to me who sells like handbag accessories so bag chains and bag charms so they reached out to me so they gave me like a budget to spend on the website and then they sent me all of the products that I selected. So I do have that video posted. I think that is my latest video before this one. And they also provided me with a discount code if you wanted to, I think, get 15% off. And then I also had a discount code for the replica handbags as well. So I thought those were some great opportunities to say that I'm just starting out with this. And at that time, I didn't even have 300 subscribers when they were reaching out to me to do these collaboration so I don't know I just think those are some really really great accomplishments to say you know I'm just starting out with this so I'm looking forward to having more interactions maybe with those people who I've already worked with and then obviously getting some new collaborations and eventually getting some paid sponsorships on the channel so please 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 support by commenting on my videos liking the videos and obviously subscribing it is going to be a greatly 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 appreciated so um yeah I think that is pretty much all that is going on with me um yeah I think that's pretty much all that I have going on I'm not gonna do anything with my brows because I get them micro shaded and I just had my touch up on Monday so I'm not going to touch them right now because you're not supposed to get them wet or anything like that for at least a week so we're not going to touch those but I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara and I'm using the Gucci mascara and I actually love this I love how tiny so I love how tiny the wand is so I'm able to get my lashes really good and especially the bottom lashes too so I really like this I have several mascaras actually I have the Chanel one that used to be my favorite. I think I still like it. I need to use it again. I kind of put it to the side when I picked up these other mascaras. So I have the Chanel. That was my first one. And then I have the YSL Lash Clash. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's just okay for me. It's not my favorite. And then obviously I have 
a few drugstore ones. But my favorite designer one, I think, is this Gucci one. So I need to get another one of these. Because this one is almost out. So, yeah. That is that. Like I said, I'm not doing too much with the makeup because I'm not going anywhere. We're just going to shoot some content. And I basically just wanted to, like, cover up some of my dark spots. That's basically all I wanted to do. So, I think that's all we're going to... Maybe I need to put some setting powder on the face. Just because... So, let's do some setting powder. And I did the cream bronzer. So, let's do some powder bronzer to set that. And we're just going to use... The Thick Mint by Fenty. That's what I used for my eyelid. So we're going to use a little bit of that to set this cream contour. I think I did a little bit up here too, right? And then I did some down here. Okay. And then we're going to use the Fenty face powder to set the rest of my face. I really need to do like a makeup video because I, I want to, I be wanting to play in makeup because I do watch makeup tutorials and I'm like, okay, I want to try that. I want to try that. But girl be wanting to do that it's just a lot i just feel like it's a it's a lot like you have to it's a lot and i don't be want to do all of that like it looks really good in the end but i was just like i don't want to do all of that So we're going to line the lip with the Charlotte Tilbury. And I think this is in the shade Foxy Brown. No, this is in the shade 3 Intense. What lip gloss we're gonna put on? I just wanna put on something neutral. So I think I'm gonna do this NARS, and this is in the shade Nympho. So just something light and neutral. start doing my makeup i'll be like okay i'm gonna do the whole full face i'm gonna do the concealer under the eye i'm gonna do an eye look i'm gonna do all the things girl when i start i stop right at the basics because i just feel like i don't have time to do all of that like i need to just get something on my face and get out the door i don't have time to do any of that and in reality i have all the time because like what else do i have to do right now i have nothing to do today but film this try on haul so the whole time I was talking to you, I could have been doing the whole concealer under the eye, baking, doing all that stuff. But I didn't. And this happens every single time. Like I have my mind set on all these things that I'm going to do. And then I end up doing the bare minimum because I'm just like, who has time to do all of that? I, I, I don't want to do all that. Like I just want to keep it simple. I just want to keep it easy. But I be wanting the whole full makeup look. So, I don't know. I'm conflicted. I am conflicted. I really need to get my life together. But, anyway, this is the look that we have today with my makeup. We have our hair done. We have it in a little ball in the back because I just thought this would look better with the looks. And we're going to put on the accessories 
and all of the things so i hope you enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me as i did this very minimal makeup look and before you leave don't forget to like comment and what subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.